Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to finally have some better weather here. It's finally warming up and I can't wait to spend more time outside on our deck. Today, I'm sharing our outdoor living space patio refresh with you guys, along with a couple inexpensive and easy DIYs to brighten up your outdoor space. So the first thing that we seriously had to do was paint the deck. And I guess we painted it about two and a half years ago. And unfortunately, the outdoor paint that we used for it, which was supposed to be a really heavy duty, good paint, had a 10 year warranty. And it's mostly worn off already in about two and a half years. And I actually just recently found out from a friend that their friend actually found out there was a class action lawsuit on this product that we had used because a lot of people were having issues with it kind of like bubbling up and peeling and chipping off after only like a year or two of being on and it was paint with a 10-year warranty unfortunately i did kind of miss that period i think it just recently closed and even if i had i don't think that i had the receipt anymore so i think i kind of already missed out on that but oh well, um, anyway. So the first thing we had to do was scrape down all of the peeling paint, sweep and clean the surface and also fill in the cracks. And then some of the cracks on the railing were actually pretty deep. Some of them were almost like a half an inch wide and almost like a half an inch deep. And my dad had some silicone caulk that was the kind that you're able to paint on top of. So he put that in there and sealed in those cracks. Um, obviously we had the wood be dry first. You wanna make sure you're not doing this after it rained, but we sealed in the cracks, had everything nice and dry and clean and ready to go. And then of course, this time we obviously selected a different brand of paint and this one is a textured one. So it has like that little bit of grit to it, which is supposed to be thicker and better for filling in cracks. And we wanted a nice rich dark brown color so that all the furniture and flowers and everything look better and they really stand out against the dark background. And Mike brought all the furniture out of storage and we're just using our same furniture from previous years. And since some of the furniture was already on the deck, I just worked to paint Paint one section of it and then kind of later that day or the next day once that paint was dry move the furniture and plants that I already had over onto the dry painted part and then paint the other sections so just kind of moving things around was how I did it without removing everything from the deck I just did my best to kind of work in sections as I had free time if I had 30 minutes I would go out and paint a little bit if I had three hours whatever it was I just kind of worked the deck is a pretty big space here so I kind of had to work we did the railings and everything so I had to work um, kind of piece by piece and I would just take my brush or roller and my um, tray for the paint can and tie it up in a little plastic bag and save it and then you know reopen it and come back the next day and then my favorite part has to be going to Home Depot on a late afternoon once it started cooling down a little bit and just walking around and looking at all the beautiful flowers and blooms. There's just so much natural beauty and so many hard decisions. I have such a hard time deciding what I want to get because everything is so pretty. These little green ones, I like to use these in the center of my planters because they're one of the cheaper options and they add a nice texture and they give you some good height for the center of your planters and then you can plant lower things around it or even ones that will hang out of your pot, you know, however you want it to look. But I like getting some of these. They will fill in over the summer. Spread my wings so I can fly Oh, and the darkness starts to fade Feels like things are gonna go my way I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm gonna let the past be filled with smoke And I will try to fix what has been broken And take this weight off my shoulders Cause I know yesterday ain't coming back So we brought home our plants and repotted them into larger pots. This black one is actually like a clay terracotta pot 
that someone had painted black, but that was perfect because it kind of matches our furniture. And I got two of these for $5 each that someone was selling at a moving sale last year. And then after I had gotten it last year, I actually had Swiss chard in it last summer. But you know, our deck just gets so hot and so much sun that I think the Swiss chard wasn't really too happy out here and it didn't grow very well. In fact, there was no label on this plant, so I'm not sure exactly what it is. So I'm planning to keep it in the corner and hopefully it gets a little shade from the grill, but I have no idea if it's going to last. Mike picked it out and we both really liked it. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. If you have any idea what this flower is, let me know and I'd love your advice on it. Then I wanted to make some candle holders for the outdoor dining table and I wanted something that would be cheap and easy and all, but also kind of like weather resistant because it was going to be outside. Dollar Tree has these medium silver bowls where you get two of them for a dollar and then they have these small ones where you get four pieces for a dollar and they are just like a silver tone plastic I guess and I was really relieved to find that these label stickers are actually just cling on stickers so there's no glue residue left behind they just peel right off beautifully now I'm turning the larger one upside down and I'm going to be using that as the base and then using some hot glue to attach a smaller one on top I made five of these and I'm adding the battery operated candles in the center of each one. So my whole candle centerpiece arrangement here costs like $10 for everything. And I thought that was a really great deal. Let the sun shine in the day. And that's Mike bringing me a rose from the yard. He is so sweet like that. Now this side table was a really cool flea market find. I love the wrought iron scroll work on it. And you know, I saved quite a bit of money by waiting and looking. Um, I was looking for, I guess, almost a whole year until I finally came across this one secondhand and it was exactly what I wanted for this space. So I have the perfect table here now. And by the way, that's a parsley plant underneath there and that my sister gave me. So for the center of my coffee table, I made this arrangement entirely from Dollar Tree, but hopefully you can get some ideas here and use whatever flowers that you already have or whatever fits your decor, either way, whether or not you have a Dollar Tree near you. And what I did was start with a black plant pot. This is actually like for a real plant. And I actually just pulled off the water catcher on the bottom because I don't want it to catch water. We don't, we're not keeping a real plant in here. I wanna make sure because it's outside that if it does rain, that the water will go through. So I'm putting a piece of styrofoam down in the bottom and this one is actually left over from another project that I didn't use. And I'm using two stems of the red gladiola flowers and I'm cutting the stem with a wire cutter a little below the leaves, leaving like maybe an inch or two, maybe two inches or so, so that I can stick it down into the styrofoam. And I'm also using one bunch of green berries, one bunch of these orangey red daisies and one bunch of white hydrangeas. I added a bag of river rocks and again I got everything in Dollar Tree but use whatever you have I mean you know even you might be able to find rocks outside in your backyard I don't know whatever works for you whatever you can find um, I added the white hydrangea around the base of the gladiolas so the hydrangea are kind of in the middle there and then I added the daisies around the outside edge and I just filled in with the sprigs of green berries and I think that these colors are so bright and fun for summer and look amazing out here on the outdoor coffee table and and they're perfect with the color of the seat cushions. And remember how the pot had holes in the bottom and we took off the water catcher? So now even if it rains, the water will just go right through. And these rocks that we added on top, besides looking nice, give it some extra weight and stability so you don't really have to worry too much about the wind knocking it over. And in the spring, you know, there's always a lot of pollen. So I'm going over the cushions with a lint roller, which was perfect for cleaning up all of that. Now the patio furniture itself is actually several years old, so I'm not sure if I can find the same items, but if not, I will try to also find the closest ones that I can, and I will have the links for those in the description box down below if that's something that you guys are interested in. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and got some ideas you can use, hopefully for your patio, deck, whatever kind of outdoor space you might have, balcony, whatever it might be. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you guys soon in the next one. Bye!